is going to be my first video in a series of videos uh, that is going to involve me moving my layout to another room. Which, as you can see, is going to be a very, very um, large undertaking. Uh, you've all, you can see right there that I've already cut out a section. Um, ideally, if I had done this uh, modular, um, it would just be a matter of taking sections apart. And when I built these tables, that was the plan. But as I built the layout, that modular idea just kind of uh, took a back seat. I can't actually just spread this table, uh, th these tables apart or as they are. That would be impossible. Or very hard. I would have to cut. And yeah, a while back I did actually attempt to separate the sections. So what I'm going to do, my focus here from now on is going to be in doing it in 48 inch by, uh, by 19 inch. So 48 inch by 19 inch sections. I've already cut this section out and here it is on the new table. As you can see, it's just a cheap table that I bought off Amazon. Very sufficient for holding the weight of my layout in sectional fashion like that. I can put a blue backer board on it, so the background won't actually be those curtains. It will be scenery. The plan is to have each table wired separately, and then I will hook them up with connectors between the two tables. I will make a great effort to try to join the tracks together so that the trains don't derail when they go from one module to the next. Uh, but my focus is actually going to be, and this is what I actually like doing with model railroading, is it's just creating the scenery, the sections, um, staging the rail cars um, so that I can take pictures of them. That's what I like doing. For me personally, I don't really get into running the trains um, in a circle around the room. That's just not my thing. I prefer to build the scenery. That's what I like to do. Um, and so for me, having a large permanent layout just doesn't make sense. Um, my layout was taking out the whole garage. Being in the garage, it was subject to temperature extremes rodents. I had to deal with a mouse recently. That was the last straw. That's when I decided to move this into the house. But to do that, I don't really need to sacrifice having a living room. As you can see, I, I, I've moved everything out of the living room. But I, I feel like I can do this in a sectional way that if I ever need to use this living room for an event or something, I can just uh, take all the sections of the, the railroad and move them into a back room and restore the living room temporarily then move the railroad back into the living room when I'm done. That's that's what I want to be able to do. I don't feel like a, a railroad has to take up a permanent space. So that, that is very permanent. There's just no way to move these tables around um, if I need that space for anything else. And plus, I, when I sell this house and move to a different state, that's going to be a huge undertaking of taking everything apart. I'd just rather do that, get it ready now. The sections that I'm going to preserve, of course, are the sections that I've already done. And you saw this section in the living room. I'm going to preserve this section as well. I haven't really done anything with the rest of it. As you can see, it's just I'm just piling stuff on it. The tables, of course, I can keep and uh, use them for benches in the garage. I'll push them up against the wall. The mountains. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to handle the mountains yet. I feel like it's too much mountain. Uh, although, I, it also kind of makes the backdrop look pretty good. I don't think they need to be so high, but I'll save them. Another option I have is to put the mountain on its own table. When I need to, I can put it behind the town scene and have the mountain in the background. Um, so today in this video, uh, I am going to cut out the town. I'm going to cut this section out and put it on a put it on its new table. So let's get underway. For starters, everything that's not glued down, I'm going to pull off the table. All these houses, figures, uh, the the walkway is uh, glued down, so that will stay 
Um, the bridge will stay. Yeah, the tower can probably stay. I just have to be careful. This building here is gonna be a little low work getting that disconnected because it's kind of, uh, <laughs> I seem to recall when I built that, uh, it's got some um, posts that it's sitting on that I just uh, plastered over. So it's, it's well cemented into place. All right, so let's start uh, removing some stuff. go. Wasn't too bad at all. So here and here, oh, off camera, I've got a couple of tortoise switches that I've got to remove. I've got a wire running through here for this dwarf switch. Ah, got to remove that as well. Uh, for the tortoise switches, it's just going to be a matter of unscrewing them from underneath and, and pulling them off. That's all, that won't be a big deal. And neither will this, actually. Uh, I will do that off camera. As for separating the foam from the table, yeah, that's really all I got. Just a little at a time. I don't know if I could hold the camera while doing this. But, yeah. <laughs> take about an hour but uh yeah i can't do a holding the camera but uh yep that's what i gotta do that's why i had to remove all the wires and there we go we got another section lifted out All right, so got everything cleaned up. Got my piece cut out, vacuumed up. There is where the town used to be. And got it sitting off to the side for now. Got a table on order for it, hasn't arrived yet. So I gotta stop right there. I did uh, proceed with some starter cuts over here. Um, starting there, going up over the cliff, and then I continue on because I need to free up this bump out section. I am going to keep that. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to use it yet, but I am keeping it. Um, and then I went back through the canal and I stopped there. I still have to mark my cut back there where the string is. I'll probably do that after I get the bump out because I don't want to be reaching that far back. So anyway, um, all right. So I've got two sections freed. The other one's piled all my junk in. But we're getting there.